Rewind, I'm Megan McDonald. Women's soccer in full swing in conference play. Preseason number four, Utah Valley taking on last year's co regular season champ UMKC. Now the Roos only have one loss at home this year, while the Wolverines are 0-4 on the road. 56th minute, UVU on the attack. Forward Sheridan Fox finds Taylor Kirk inside the box. Kirk far post for the 1-0 lead, and that's where it would stay. Huge win for Utah Valley on the road. Another big game for Wolverine keeper Jessica Duffin. The senior had six saves to pick up her fourth shutout win of the year and 13th in her career, marking UVU's all-time shutouts record. The Wolverines went on to beat Chicago State 7-1 to improve to 2-0-1 in the WAC. Utah Valley looking very strong early in conference play. UMKC did not have time to dwell on this loss. The Roos faced Seattle U in a rematch from last year's WAC championship. This game was all about goalkeeping. Still no score on the board, 79th minute, UMKC's Nina Gianos comes out due to a leg injury and the Roos replace her with freshman Anna Lillig for her first college game. The game would end in a 0-0 draw. Bakersfield coming off a win at New Mexico State, the runners on the road facing UTRGV. It all starts with an 81st minute penalty kick by Alexa Orente and that's where things took off. Five minutes later, Maddie Giomona finds the back of the net for goal number two. And not even a minute after that, Amina Settles gets number three to clinch the win, earning the runners first double win weekend on the road since moving to D1 in 2007. Some serious upsets in drama in women's soccer, but volleyball takes the cake. A big match up in Seattle. Remember, Bakersfield beat Seattle in the WAC championship last year, so the Redhawks are looking to avenge that loss, but this time in front of their own home crowd. Let's take a look at how that one played out. First set, set point for the runners, Carol Grasso puts down the massive kill on the Redhawks. 26-25 Bakersfield, four set point, when setter Louisa Martins gets it to go 2-0 in the match. Seattle U not done yet. Martina Shabadon with the kill for the Red Hawks. The senior ended the day with 14 kills on .684 hitting percentage, but it wasn't enough to hold the Roadrunners as they went on to take set four. The victory was the eighth in a row in the series for the Roadrunners since 2011. Outside hitter Carol Grassel led all players with 16 kills, five digs, and an ace, while Kelsey Sawyer posted 12 kills, four digs, and three aces to improve to two and one in the WAC. Utah Valley hosting Grand Canyon. First set, Sierra Starley to Abby Jensen for the huge kill to go up 15-7. Wolverines take the set 25-12. Starley again to Lauren Bacher and one more time, Starley to Madison Dennison. Starley posted a double-double of 40 assists and 11 digs on the day. Lauren Bacher with the serve for match point and UVU takes the fourth set 24-20. Wolverines improve to three and one in conference play. Heading over to men's soccer, Seattle U and UNLV got all the preseason love, but flying under the radar, Grand Canyon came in at eighth in the preseason polls. The Lopes, in their first weekend of WAC play, coming off a 1-0 win over UTRGV, hosted Houston Baptist. Seventh minute, Alejandro Radilla with a corner kick, a few touches, and Alberto Sanchez Garcia finds the lower right 90 for GCU's earliest goal of the season. Nikki Jackson gets the game winner in the 58th minute and Radia puts it away at minute 82 from 40 yards out over the keeper's head in the opposite upper 90, scoring his first goal of his career. GCU starts whack play 2-0 for the first time in school history. Another exciting game, this time in Las Vegas. In its first season, UTRGV secured its first ever WAC victory. As if that wasn't a feat alone, it was against defending WAC champ UNLV, and they took that match 1-0. This loss snaps the Rebels' seven-game winning streak. Now that's not everything that happened this weekend, so let's check out the standings. In women's soccer, Utah Valley and Bakersfield lead the WAC both without losses. New Mexico State at third with a 2-1 record, and Seattle U comes in at 1-0-2. Over in the volleyball standings, New Mexico State undefeated takes the number one spot, while the Red Hawks and Wolverines have three wins and only one loss come in right behind them, and Bakersfield comes in at fourth going 2-1. In men's soccer, Seattle U, Utah Valley, and Grand Canyon are all 2-0, while San Jose State, UNLV, Incarnate Word, and UTRGV 
are split at one and one. Big time games with a lot of upset, but someone had to lead their teams to those victories. So let's check out Players of the Week. Seattle U's Martina Shamadon named Player of the Week for the second time this season. The middle blocker averaging 3.43 kills on .63 hitting per set. She kept the Redhawks in the match against Bakersfield, leading SU with 14 kills. The senior now owns five of the top 10 single match hitting percentages in Red Hawk history. Heading over to men's soccer, Seattle U's forward Michael Roberts and UTRGV's goalie Leo Castillo take the honor for the week. Roberts had three goals and two assists to help the number 24 Red Hawks win their first two WAC matches of the season. Castillo made five saves for his second shutout of the season for the win at UNLV. In women's soccer, Bakersfield, Amina Settles is named Offensive Player of the Week and Seattle U's Kelly Beck is named Defensive Player of the Week. Settles scored the game winner against New Mexico State. As just a redshirt freshman, Settles is now third in Bakersfield history for goals in a season at five. Beck led the Red Hawks backline to its fifth and sixth shutouts of the season. She helped anchor a defense that didn't allow Chicago State a single shot over the weekend. Don't forget, you can watch live games on the WAC Digital Network at WACsports.com live. For more information, check us out at WACsports.com or follow us on Twitter and Facebook.